So tell me what we're looking at here. Okay, what we have here is a dashboard display of different sensors that the phone has, which is our compass. So the um, compass points, the degrees, we've got a 3D render using gyroscope values that display on these three input from the, numeral bo the number boxes that changes orientation. We also get the location from the phone that gets stored. That's and GPS location. Yes, right? GPS yeah. location. And then we've got a time series chart of the peaks, peak points and the values coming from the gyroscope values. So we've built an Android application and named it Farmageddon. So you open it up. From that point, it connects to the server. The, as you've noticed, that went red to blue meaning that the phone's connected. All right. And then uh, upon the orientation of the phone, the 3D render moves around. We can come to our compass and the values we get on the compass are the same ones that should be displaying on the screen. So, let me just zoom out a little bit. So, show me when you move the phone. So we are on, in your hand, the phone and the display actually changes as well. Yes. Okay. And then if you look at the gyroscope values, those also change depending on the phone's orientation. Okay. And you did this how? Um, we actually went onto the marketplace of Thingworks, downloaded the Android SDK, and then took the demo application, and I went through the code to see how do I send information to Thingworks, and how do I fetch information from Thingworks. And the protocol that we're actually using is always on. So the moment you actually, for example, disconnect, um, it also disconnects immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the moment I reconnect, it reconnects immediately. So you've got blue and blue, red for disconnect. Um, and then from there, we took, uh, found different classes on how to use the sensors on the Play Store or on Google. And from there, I, impl I implemented into different fragments. So the fragments that I have is the GPS. We've got a um, gyroscope slash accelerometer. We've got cameras not yet working. And then we've also got a compass. And we also have a proximity sensor. So I set those all up into fragments. And then from there on our main activity, that is where our information is getting pushed and being pulled and pushed to the different fragments to show dis the display. And what could you use this for? Um, we could actually use this for insurance companies where we can actually see how much impact the person actually had on their phone. For example, let's say I drop my phone and the screen cracks. When I go to the police station to fill in or I place in a problem, I can tell them that happened at this time, at this location. And from there, the company that has your insurance can actually go ahead and review the stats looking at what time did the phone drop, when was there an anomaly, and from there they can decide whether do they issue the insurance claim or do they deny the insurance claim. If I'm in a car and I'm accelerating too fast and my parents don't want me to speed, then an anomaly can be sent via SMS or email to their accounts stating that my son's phone is moving way too quickly or he's accelerating way too quickly, he's speeding. Um, if I get into an accident, if, for example, okay, you won't see it yet, but what would happen is that if I vigorously shake the phone, the phone vibrates. That means that that is a new, a new, it's a high, it's the highest level of shaking. And then from there, I know that, okay, something's abnormal. That is a different thing. He might be in an accident or someone might have hit him or he ran into a wall. And then I can send a notification to the, effect, to the parents stating that something's up with your kid, you can check up on them. And was this difficult to do? Um, no, it wasn't difficult. The only difficult thing that I'd say, if it was difficult, is interpreting how to link ThinkWorks with your Android device. But other than that, everything else was moderately easy. And how long did this take you to do? This took two days and the third day was just doing a touch-up of the mashup and the display of the phone. Thank you.